Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory is both an outstanding research institution and a terrific educational organization. It's so important to support the lab because we need basic science research to advance our knowledge. And I know that Cold Spring Harbor Lab can and is a leader in this endeavor. I see us pushing the frontiers and really looking forward to expanding our neuroscience program. That in particular has captured my imagination. My research program is focused on understanding how sensory experience shapes brain development early in postnatal life. It's our goal to understand the really basic processes through which experience regulates brain development in a healthy context, and then utilize what we learn to try to understand what's going wrong in neurodevelopmental disorders like autism and schizophrenia. I have a unique background in that I was originally uh, born and bred in the Chickasaw Nation of rural Oklahoma. I'm the first Native American principal investigator at Cold Spring Harbor Lab. Cold Spring Harbor has a, a relatively large proportion of younger scientists. This really leads to an excitement and energy about the place that really makes you feel like new discoveries are, are on the horizon at all times. We're still looking for cures to cancer. I'm fortunate being a cancer survivor myself. I'm optimistic that we will keep on pushing the frontiers there. Our goal is to find out what drives prostate cancer and what actually makes it a deadly disease. The question is really, does a person have the kind of prostate cancer that will go lethal? We know that in patients, this disease starts very focally with very small cells of cancer. Even though it just starts with one cell, we could show that it ends up spreading all over the body. But now there was one problem. How do you find that single cell among the million or hundreds of million prostate cells that are normal? So we knew we had this thing in front of us, but it's just very hard to find that needle in the haystack. All of a sudden it clicked. To solve that problem, we teamed up with uh, neuroscientists at uh, Cold Spring Harbor. Pavel Austin's lab has developed a microscope that is able to image an entire organ, in their case it's the brain, but at single cell resolution. And so it's clearly this kind of basic research combination of a new model and a new imaging technology that generates a synergy that uh, allows us to see a process that hasn't been uh, visualized before. With coronavirus, the lab really pivoted. Even people whose main work's focused on cancer, taking their tools and their knowledge and feeling a moral imperative to contribute. When the pandemic happened, one of the things we realized pretty quickly was that another immune cell we've been studying called the neutrophil could play a role. And then I started calling up colleagues, including at uh, Northwell Health, to say, what do you think? Could this be real? And we started shifting our research to looking at these neutrophils and their role in COVID-19. It's been exciting to see everything come together and realize over time that indeed we were right. Another special thing about the lab is how collaborative it is. All the scientists are not in specific departments. They talk across fields and share their knowledge. The program intermix the plant biologists and neuroscientists, the quantitative biologists and the cancer researchers, and we are all mixed together, which means that that's how you learn about what's going on in other fields. There aren't many places where this kind of exposure of people that study fundamental questions in brain research connect with people that study uh, equally fundamental questions in a completely different field. Even if our interests don't overlap directly and we discuss possible avenues of collaboration and, and so um, this just speaks to, again, that collaborative, close-knit nature of the Cold Spring Harbor community. Science is hope. Most people see science as the key to dealing with coronavirus and helping us put this chapter behind us. I am very proud to be associated with an institution that is making such a difference in the world.